Hey, welcome back to Chesterville. Um, started building out a bit. It occurred to me a couple episodes ago we built a house for Chester. Um, no real reason. He had a ceiling for a long time and there's never been lightning. It's never rained. But I thought maybe we should build out some of this. And we just went back to doing this because we're a little short on Prismarine right now. Um, because, like, this is all deep ocean, whatever. But beyond this line, it suddenly becomes plains and stays that way forever. Uh, which isn't that important, except uh, if we're going to have, like, grass or something, then we might not want the biomes changing and <clears throat> doing something to the color of this stuff. Uh, so I guess what I'm thinking... Well, one thing... Uh, we're not far enough away. I don't know. I've tried to find out. No one ever knows. No one ever quite asks the question that I want to know. We know that village is 100... The This edge is 160 meters from... You can't even see it. It's, there's that village. Between the two is 160 meters. <clears throat> and the reason that seems to matter is because... Uh, the uh, um, if, you, if I made like a villager breeder <clears throat> which would have to have beds so that it would work apparently that has to be 160 meters from the village where I'm going to be putting the guys which implies to me that a bed can't be within 160 meters which seems like a lot so if we build a house here and you know just build out and build a big platform more of this sort of um if we, I guess the simplest, the simplest thing to do is do it and see what happens. So if we put beds in it, is it going to cause iron guys from like that village to spawn out here somewhere? I don't know. I've never been able to find that out. Hmm. So I guess what we could do is figure, you know, one thing we could do. I've got all of this, but it doesn't matter. Everything here is going to... I'm going to go up a level, so we could probably just... What is this? Like... 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30. If I go out another 25 meters and then turn... We could just fill this all in with wood. Just something to... So if we want to pull up the grass or something later, we can do it. So if you want to... You know, based on what I'm doing, just fill the whole damn thing in with uh, wood slats. Okay. And let's see, that's 5, 10, 15. Twenty. Five. Turn. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, thirty. So while you're filling that in, the next question we're going to have... Oh, wait, if we go up a level, I have to factor for something. Okay, I need... I need what is that? 30, so 120. Let me go make a couple stacks of something. Okay, I might have... I don't know, I can check if I have them, but it seems faster just to make new ones. Um... See what's over here. I don't know where they'd be if we have them. That, that that's not. It doesn't matter. 
No. Yeah, so that's half of what I need. This stuff still filtering, I guess. What's that? Oh, okay. Rockets still, um, which incidentally, I used. I wanted to fly around a bit and see what uh, where the biomes all were. So. Um, two. Nah, I'll just. Assuming there's none up there. Yeah, not really. Okay, I'll just make another stack. If we uh, enclose this thing in stairs, we can prevent Endermen if they happen from stealing our dirt. So I just gotta go make a set of stairs real quick. And I might as well save myself a bit, because if I do it in a maker bot, it's gonna be two to three instead of one to one. Alright, give me that. Oh, uh, yeah, like that. And then I'll dump whatever else here because I don't need it right now. Uh, anyway, yeah, what kind of house do we want to I have no idea. I'm concentrating on not falling again. Well, that's helpful, but in general we have just about every possible material. And some lag. Still. Sadly, we cannot build a house out of beef. Um, no. No, we can't. Probably make it look like we did. <laughs> but we can't. You're right. Just, these are not questions you should ever ask me. <laughs> Because I will say things <coughs> like that. I, I will have these horrible ideas and... Beef House. Sundays is fall on Disney Plus. It just sounds like a Disney Plus thing, doesn't it? No. Is it weird that I have, like... I almost want to have less than zero interest in The Mandalorian. I don't know who it's for. I haven't seen it. I just, there's fundamentally two types of people. There are the people who don't care enough and want, it's like, what the hell is a Mandalorian? It, it. Half man, half DeLorean. Yeah, so I was saying it sounds like an Irish sports car exclusively for guys. I don't know what this is. I don't know what any of these are. And then there's those of us who actually are okay with Star Wars, you know, at least minimally like it. And we're like, yeah, we saw the Mandalorian. It was a cartoon in 1978. Yikes, really? Oh, yeah. Yikes. They called it the holiday special at the time. Oh. Yeah, it's... Who cares? Yikes. Stop trying to make Boba Fett interesting. No one cares. <laughs> he was a guy who had, like, one line uh, 39 years ago. And someone... I don't know if it was Lucas. Someone was... Well, he's just... I'll bet they'll like this guy. We made a cartoon. We'll cram him into Jedi so he can get killed immediately, just sucking at things. And then he did the speds, you know. Like, oh, let's pretend he was on in Mos Eisley with, you know, the Jabba that you have to step on its tail. And then more in Jedi, and then, oh, we'll make the clones and the Clone Wars, and it'll be, you know, this guy. Where is that guy from, like, New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to make Boba Fett cool. No one actually cares. The sort of people who do care are the sort of people who aren't going to know what a Mandalorian is. Mandalorian rain. It's like a Bruce Hornsby song. All right, so we, you do that. I'm going to go get some stuff together because... Uh, it just occurred to me, uh, we built Chester a house. And as a result of that, we don't have grass on the ground. We have grass right there. I guess I could technically steal one out of there. And I'm trying to... Why in hell would that be there? One stone, but whatever. The things that get just places in this game. Uh, I, I might have some in the, in the seed vault. If not, we're going to have to figure out a way to 
It's not going to be a complicated issue. I can just set down some dirt next to the grass we know about. But that's yeah, the, the sheep thingy should... No, I got grass. We're good. Let me just have one of these. We'll save those because that's dirt, which I guess I'm probably hanging on to as a dirt doubling source. Get 40 gravels and we can kick it up. You know, about that, <clears throat> this is how convoluted things have become. We have, well, first of all, we have a significant um, dirt deficit, right? Sure. We need dirt. And to get dirt, we can go into the nether and get gravel. Because if you mix gravel, I think there's some here. One. If I had two gravel and two dirt, I could mix them and get four coarse dirt, hit those with a hoe, what's left of it, and get four dirt and just repeat until exponentially you get up to lots, which is what we've been doing. The problem is you go into the nether for that, you tend to die because half of the damn gravel falls into lava oceans. So we've been, we did the whole thing where we have the um, spicy slimes giving us lava balls. So we have those, we have all of this to play with. Um, but even this, you have to stand here and do it. So I tried to automate one of these. Um, because people have been doing that for years, but in 114, I tried using one designed for 114 that someone did, and I just couldn't get it to work. So I don't know what what dirt we have right now is kind of what we're going to be starting with. I don't know what I'm even looking for. It's not in here. Right? You have the stuff, I, which what? means I don't have this dirt. I do not have the dirt. You should be in one of your shulker boxes. Of that, yeah. Okay. I just know that I have two shulker boxes full of uh, gravel. Oh, well, okay. Let me start with what I have here and we'll save at least two of these so we can do the dirt doubling if we have to. Gonna have to buy me another diamond hoe. Mm-hmm. Well, technically at this point, if you want, you can just grab a stack of, a couple stacks of sticks and a stack of iron and end up with, uh, you know, it's gotta be enough hose to do this thing. Um, well, there we are. Uh, yeah, let me just start. I guess we'll just, we'll start by putting down dirt. I mean, at some point we'll probably dig into it to put down a house instead because you don't want a dirt floor. But, this is all dirt, right? Of course, dirt. That would be helpful. It wouldn't matter that much. It would just be annoying. So, get all this in. This is going to be our lawn. That's going to be a torch, which just doesn't belong there at all. Um, and the grass should spread out from that one corner, preferably before anything happens to it. Yeah, this is a lot of dirt for being in Skyblock. It just is. Because the cheapest any one of these is, I, is either trading in 10, uh, I can't even see them here, but basic oak logs with Chester. Or going into the nether, finding a couple things of uh, gravel, mixing them with existing dirt and... Uh, yeah, it's just I want to be a little careful with whatever dirt we have simply because it's going to be if we run out we have to get more and it sucks although that's kind of why I wanted fire potion stuff it's just apparently it's really annoying waiting for it to, it's not even like it's any work it's just standing there waiting for it to bubble its way through is intolerable I'm just the lag is getting in my nerves and, uh, building an automated system just doesn't apparently work for me. It's not like watch through a video. Someone said, you do this, and it worked. I kind of wonder if it worked because he was doing it in creative mode. And I kind of wonder if no one noticed that that was the only reason it worked, because a lot of people only do creative mode. 
Not that you would need to make potion clothes. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If you're in creative mode, you're just cheating anyway. I mean, basically, it's just, here, I want stuff. So why are you building potions? Why do you need this or that? Or you just, At this point, you just got an infinite Lego set. That's all you're doing. So put down what you want, and there you are. I'll go into MC Edit and just build it. Or, you know, use the fill command or something like that. I don't know. I've been looking at... I've been seeing, uh... Apparently, because there's, like, uh... Achievement advancements now. The dragon here... It, these report, I guess. So there's, like, a... There's a, uh... Sort of a, uh... Database somewhere of, you know, who's done what. How many... Breaking, I don't know, do we still have, we don't still have an achievement for just punching down a tree, but like, trade with a villager, kill any monster, that's probably an easy one to get. So like, a lot of people get this far, right? <clears throat> but in terms of dragon killing, apparently, uh, this is what I was thinking of, yeah, stone, I don't know, <clears throat> make any kind of pickaxe and get stone. Or cobblestone. People probably accomplish that, but the dragon, apparently like 3% of people who play the game ever kill a dragon. Yay, I'm part of the 3%. I don't even know if it is 3%. It's a, that or 0.3%. It's like no one ever does it. No one ever finishes a game. No, Most people don't realize there's end credits, apparently. And those of us who do, it's kind of like you know knowing about Boba Fett. As I'm not watching this. I've seen it. It's just stop it. I'm just getting a little annoyed that we had all this wonderful time with a couple of streaming services, and now it's mm -hmm. spreading out everywhere. It's just cable with extra steps. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You have to... Well, I, I don't know if Disney is anything important. Um, like to people in general. It seems like most of the time people hate Disney. So I don't know why everyone's so geeked about it right now. But I think they're mostly really frustrated that Disney now own... Everything. Yeah. They have Deadpool, they have the Alien films, all the Star Wars stuff, Marvel, which is Deadpool. Right. They're probably 30 seconds from buying up DC. That I have doubts about. Mm -hmm. Warner's pretty big, they're not just going to buy it. Also, Warner in no danger. Fox, as far as films go, were not doing so hot. They were doing actually better than Sony, but... Oh, if you remember, uh, in the last couple of months, everyone was all weirded about Spider-Man reverting or not, or something, they couldn't do it. And how uh, someone was greedy, I, I think it was Disney were greedy. The thing, what no one realizes is that Sony, uh, it's all they have. You know, Sony being Columbia, TriStar, whatever. It, there's really nothing else, because they tried doing that Ghostbusters parody a couple of three years ago. Which, and then when that didn't work, they tried deciding it was because no one liked girls. It, the reality is, it doesn't... It, just saying they were going to do it, my immediate thought was, uh, you know, make this with, I don't know, who are four people who suck. Will Ferrell. Um, probably put Jack Black in there or someone like that. Although, you know, he's better than Farrell. Adam Sandler. You know, all these th people come to mind. It would flunk because it's not gender-based. It's stupidity-based. It was just everything about it looked abysmally stupid. And it was. Uh, I seem to remember Ghostbusters being fairly intelligent. Eh, yeah, in a satiric way. Yeah. I mean, satire typically is kind of intelligent. People have misused the word lately, but... Yeah, it's, it's just, it was not it was a bad idea. And then Reitman's kid, I guess, wants to do it. Whatever he's doing next year, which I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a sequel or another remake, reboot, re thing. I keep seeing that they're bringing back the original cast, which is kind of difficult because one of them is retired and one of them retired from life. Which one retired? Uh, um... Aykroyd? No, uh... He's not really retired, he's just making vodka. I'm out of dirt by now. Uh oh. Um. 
Uh, right, I guess in a sense he's retired. I'll just grab all of them and see what happens. What's his name? I um, don't know. That's why I asked. There was Hudson and there was Murray. He wasn't a ghost, but he... he oh, was, Moranis? Yeah. Uh, actually, I think at this point he's about done being retired. Like, he, he could just stay retired. I guess it's up to him. He retired yet because he had kids. It's funny because yeah. that's kind of what Lucas did. Anyway, you wouldn't need him for it. It's particularly whatever. It's too late to do any kind of a... It was too late to do a sequel. Well, it wasn't too late necessarily in 1989, but it was a bad film. Ghostbusters 2 was terrible. When people are complaining about the thing in 2016, they're like, well, why couldn't they... They had two really good films that you're... You don't... You're wrong. Everything that comes out of your mouth is wrong. <laughs> you just poisoned your own well. Yeah, I know it's a genetic fallacy, but from now on, everything that comes out of your head is just stupid and wrong. If you even had, like, just the patience. <laughs> My excuse was I saw it in the cinema. So, oh, this was a horrible film, never mind. But anyone who's like, oh, wow, I'm going to get that on disc, you're an idiot. <laughs> it was a terrible film. It was just, it was probably the worst sequel. No, it wasn't strictly the worst. There have been a couple of worse ones. But those were worse, not only because they were worse, but because they retroactively ruined the original. Wow. And they're films everyone likes. And everyone cites when they want to talk about bad sequels. Which is hilarious. They should never have made more than two alien films. The second one was terrible. First one was A Haunted House in Space. It was an absolute horror film. The second one was Rambo in Space. Different genre, doesn't count. That was Jim Cameron not understanding something. I did kind of enjoy... Um, As a standalone film, it might have been okay. As anything related to Alien, it was yeah. just terrible. I, I liked the character's progression Fine, but four films. Great, but it's a terrible film. It's not the right genre. It's just everything about it sucks. <laughs> um, worse technically than that, which is funny because it's the same guy, was... Uh, Everyone's like, you know, oh, they should have left it at two Terminator films. No. The second Terminator film may have been the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Seriously. What are the, you know what I had to do is compile it as a video. <clears throat> of in the first film when Reese says, you know, uh, no, one, no one goes home, no one else comes through. It's just him and me. Mm -hmm. Just have him repeat it over and over with every Terminator they've ever sent back since 1984. <laughs> See if someone maybe understands what I'm saying. You, you gonna, can't do it. You're going to pull in every instance from that series? Sure, too? totally, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. They found the time displacement stuff. The Terminator had already gone through. Reese went through. They destroyed the whole place. No, you don't get to throw... Now the series, they're throwing them... There's like gangster Terminators in 1931. It's the time Dylan arrow. 11,000 Terminators a minute. Or whatever that thing fires. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just, what the hell? And that was a case, not of Jim Cameron not understanding what... Um, I don't know why I want to say Rennie Harlan. What's his actual name? Ridley Scott. There he didn't get one, and he's actually acknowledged it since, so that's something. that he, if, he, if he had known what got cut from Alien, that the thing was able to reproduce on its own, he wouldn't have made a sequel, so well, that's something. With Terminator, he had no idea what he stole from Harlan Ellison. <laughs> he just didn't get it. And, and you know, Soldier and whatever. Uh, anyway, um... So the grass is here. Mm hmm Okay. So, uh, what, yeah, what kind of house do we want to build? Is this big enough? I mean, is the yard big enough? Uh, well, yes, okay. sure. Oh, I'm just thinking. It's not like the dogs need to run around or anything. Mm, they could. They could, but they'd always follow us. That's true. Okay, um... So what we want to do is, yeah, it would be a smallish house, it would be fine. What do we want to make it out of? What the hell? <laughs> what? D Drill Cat just, like, slobbered onto the ceiling. 
How did you even don't do that? It's just weird. She was sleeping and happy. And I don't you know care why. I just don't want her to go. Oh, it's all sticky. <laughs> <laughs> she slimed me. Uh, yeah, so... Well, I guess I was kind of thinking toward this original, you know, earlier because we have all this. Mm-hmm. And I think, I want to say this, these logs trade in for something like ice, which, you know, I think we have. <laughs> I'm stuck on a tree, I don't know why. <laughs> there's slobber on my trackball. So we have, hi cat. Oh no. Bye cat. We have that at least. Yeah. I think that, I think that's just ice. It seems like it is. I'm going to go find out. So we could just build a house out of, out of, because, uh, birch wood is... I mean, kind of house-colored wood. You know, houses are typically a white or something like it. Um, we could just do uh, mostly that. You know, it trades in for ice, which so that's totally redundant. We don't need it. We could do that and. Uh, Kind of come up with a dark roof of some kind. Okay. Um, yeah, and we've, what? We've got the all the other kinds of wood, anyways. So. Right. Well, yeah, but you know, just that's handy. It's right there, and there's a lot of it. Yes, there is, and there could be a lot more if we need it. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, this it's. I don't know what my frames per second are, but it's twelve. <laughs> Thought so. Come be craft. Uh, just give me some wood, and I'll just get someone to map this out. If really, <laughs> I've apparently, <laughs> never made this stuff before. Why would you? I don't know. I guess that's a good point. So if we uh, figure a floor plan, I mean, like probably a door in front. Well, yeah, probably a door in front, but the more, I don't know. You just want a basic house house? I mean, what do houses look like? I don't know. I don't know, house like. I guess that's actually the middle, so. Yeah, we could put in like double doors or something, so. Let me. It's really. What did I just do? Oh, I can just look at numbers here. 22, 21, 23. So if we... Oh no. Leg. Get out! If we, uh... Wait, right? 25. We'll probably need lights at some point on this, but we'll, we'll figure something out about that. Alright. Might be able to just put lights under hedges or something. What number is that example? 88. Jeez, are you kidding? I know half the lag, maybe more than half, is that I'm recording. So that's something to consider. So if we have... Oh, that just gets us... We're going to need that. <laughs> Just <Ooh>. damn it. <laughs> okay. Apparently putting the dirt down was stupid. It run if we have walls here. front door thing and then from there we can just build back and 
come up with something that's got enough room to be a house. Please, just go away. Just get... Why in hell... This isn't even a lag thing. This is just stupid. <sighs> anyway. Uh, you know, figure... Actually, yeah, we just have a fairly low ceiling. No, that's not really what I meant, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, that's just unreasonable. So yeah, that gets us a door to go in, and then we can kind of build to the sides. Um, option only tear out the dirt and replace it with floor, because there's no reason for it to be dirt. And kind of go from there. Okay. And otherwise we'd just run out of time, so... Uh, we can either leave, you know, figure out, we probably figure out a floor plan off camera. Because apparently if I'm recording it's too laggy to pick up dirt. And then build the actual house next time, I suppose. So, I don't know, we'll go away for now and see you next time. Bye.